So in today's web dev tip, we're going to be looking at how you can set up a new JavaScript project in Visual Studio Code. So what we're going to be doing is using an npm command, it's the npm init command, to basically initialize a new package, a new JavaScript project uh, for you to start work on. So over in Visual Studio Code, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the terminal. So if we just open up a new terminal from the menu here, and as I mentioned, the command we're going to use is npm init. So you will need to make sure that you've got node and npm installed to do this. And if we hit enter, what we'll now see in our terminal is a list of questions about what we're setting up in our project. And they're fairly basic questions and you can accept the defaults that are provided to you. So the uh, value that's inside of these parentheses here, that is the default value that will be given if you just hit enter for each uh, item in the list. So the first thing is to give our project a name. So we could say something like my new project, for example. And then we were asked to give a version, which I'm going to keep as version 1.0.0. And then we can add a description in here, which is just some information about the project. If anyone does start working with you alongside it, to give them some information about it. And we've got an entry point as well. So if we actually try and start the project or build the project, then this will be the first point, the first JavaScript file that will be run. In other words, the entry point of where the project starts. Uh, there's also the ability to provide a test command. I'm just going to skip that by providing a default here. And once you've got your package or project set up in Git, then you can provide the Git repository as well so people can find that. And you can also put in some keywords to help with searching as well. So once you've filled out all of the different properties in the npm init stages, and once you've answered all the questions, we get to this point where you're provided with a summary of all your answers, and you, as you can see, it's in JSON format. Um, if we accept that by hitting enter, then what happens is the npm init command creates us a package.json file, and in there is all of the answers uh, to those questions that were asked by the npm init command. So if you want to accept all of the defaults from the uh, npm init command, what you can do is a little shortcut is say npm init and then pass in dash y and all of the defaults are automatically accepted and you end up with a new package.json file uh, without having to answer any of those questions. So with your package.json file set up, you're now in a position where you can install other modules and other packages uh, from npm. And so for example, if you wanted to install the Axios HTTP library, we would just say npm install Axios, and that will be added into your package.json file as one of the dependencies of your project. So the reason we're adding this package.json file is because the npm install command won't work unless you've got a package.json already set up, and that's essentially what the npm init command is doing for us. So you go, there's just a quick introduction on how to get set up with a JavaScript project in Visual Studio Code. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.